So in this workflow we created for a university, we have different product types that we want to look at using Fiery Job Flow. And based off of what we find, we're going to then lay it out properly for imposition and print. So in this example, I have a fold-over business card. I have a trading card. I have a menu. I have a concert ticket. And I have a business card. So five unique product types. So we're going to take those and we're going to drop them into one folder. And we're going to let Job Flow do the rest. So once we paste them into our job flow folder, we'll go to job flow and we'll go look at our jobs coming in. And let's look at the fold over business card and see what's happening. So here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if it's a menu. If it is, it's going to move it to the menu uh, workflow. If it's not, it will continue on down this list. So we're checking each file coming in to see what it is. So again, is it a ticket? Now we know it's a fold over business card, so this should fail and again continue down the list to the next check. And in this example here, it is a fold over business card, so I expect it to pass and then move it to our fold over business card workflow, where we're going to do the imposition as a 12 up, 12 18, and then send it down to the Fiery for print. So let's see the end result. We'll go first of all look at all the jobs in the completed section here. We'll check first with the business card. So you notice the business card passed and it laid it out appropriately for cutting. We will then go look at the fold over business card. You're going to see that this passed and it laid it out appropriately for cutting. Next we'll go look at the menu. Again, this laid this out as a two up specifically for cutting. Okay, all automated without ever opening up the files. Then lastly, we'll go look at the concert ticket, and again, laid out appropriately for cutting, like so. Now also notice here, the last thing is we have the trading card. This fell into a job errors area. This is because this was not part of the workflow and we didn't know what to do with it. So we can send an email out to, to alert that you need to take care of this job manually.